So I'm Jordan Meter. I am the robotic solutions researcher. Um, this specific one was to show the uh, fe feasibility of not replacing a human operator, but putting in a collaborative robot adjacent to the human operator so that they could work in tandem. So this customer was very eager to get some automation uh, running up for their facility. Um, they've had some issues meeting uh, production, needing you know, more staff, specialized training. Um, there's inherent safety risks that come with some of the tasks that need to be done. And so this was an ask to kind of open the floodgates, start with something that was not overly complex to show proof of concept and then uh, pursue further automation uh, concepts from there. So the UR20's got, oh, I think it's about a 60 inch, 60, 70 inch reach, um, but it's called 20 because it's 20 kilogram payload. So for those that work in pounds, about a 44 pound payload, um, that includes the weight of the end effector. Um, but between that higher reach, higher payload, and then the collaborative nature, so it doesn't need a protective fence, um, but to enhance that collaborative space a little bit more so it has safety scanners. Uh, once you start engaging in one of its preliminary zones, it will flash, identify the user, but continue working at about a 50% reduced speed. Uh, and then once you get in past that, it'll flash red and stop entirely. So we worked with Flexbotics. Um, they specialize in CNC robot integration. So they have, a special, they have specialty products and software. In this case, like the, the biggest um, advantage was instead of having to tear open the back of the PLC cabinet, splice a bunch of wires, have a giant umbilical coming out of the control cabinet, um, with a single ethernet connection, we were able to establish a communication with all the IO of the CNC um, and its PLC in the back. The other vendors from there was a combination of Olympus Controls at Tualatin and then e &M Automation. Um, they supplied the safety equipment because the brand of safety scanners we used was SICK. And then uh, Olympus provided the rest of the integration and equipment. So they're the tr distributors for Universal Robotics. That's where we got the R20. So yeah, I'm Tyler Bouchard. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Flexbotics. At Flexbotics, we focus on robot-driven manufacturing, and what we mean by that is providing all the information and intelligence to the robot to be able to command and control uh, the work cell. So we provide uh, standardized solutions to be able to uh, interface robots with uh, various capital equipment. Um, and what we do with, with that information is we create uh, what's called autonomous process control. So we take that information to be able to create close feedback loops between uh, the robot and uh, existing machinery, IT systems, and, and people. We've seen that a lot of automation, specifically within robot arm automation, uh, has been uh, adopted pretty well within automotive but a lot of other industries haven't adopted um, automation within there. So what we're starting to see now is those companies are starting to explore uh, what six-axis robot um, automation can be able to do for them. So they're in the early stages of, of implementing that. So I think it was, uh, it was great working with every individual, uh, you know, within in person and remote to, to help with the project. So uh, the, I think the uh, demeanor of, of the OMIC staff um, of, you know, wanting to uh, implement cutting edge technology and then collaborating with uh, organizations like ourselves felt like, uh, you know, it was definitely easy to, to work with you guys. Um, because you have um, access to uh, organizations that are looking for implementing technology in the most you know, uh, forward-looking way possible, it helps us be able to refine the requirements that are necessary for our technology to be able to uh, scale that with those types of organizations. Pri years prior, a coll collaborative robots existed and you could be next to them, um, but there may have not been so many cells designed with having those two share a common goal in mind, where this project really highlighted um, what I would call like a new pathway to not replace, but just coexist. 